This clip is about a difficulty that uh, one user had with prices. He wanted to sell price uh, items at round figure prices. Um, one item was priced at two pounds. He wanted to sell it marked at two, and the rate of tax was 18%. But when he put it in the system like this, if he set the price at 1.7 then it showed up as 2.01 which he didn't want. If you put it in as 1.69 and it went to 1.99 then he couldn't seem to get it right. Now the system is only really designed to accept two decimal places. So if we go to items here and we put in item 2 and call that up then he can put more decimal places in here but it won't necessarily work at the moment he's got it in as 1.7 if he puts it in at 1.695 and saves it then goes to sales item 2 take it down to one item it's still wrong because this is only recognizing two decimal places and not three. And part of the reason is because in the database uh, we have two decimal places specified. I'll try to illustrate that. Open another browser, go to PHP My Admin, log in as root for the demonstration. And if we go to checker, which is the name of our database, and look at items and look at the structure we can see that the cost price and the unit price both have a type here of double and it's 15 and 2 that means it can be 15 um, digits long and two decimal places if we change these by clicking on the pencil icon there if we change that to something ambitious like 10, 10 decimal places I've got a German keyboard I'll have to uh, get that right there's a unit price there we'll do that one as well we'll just go back and we'll make it 10 decimal places and save that that should be plenty we don't really need as many as 10 but we can leave it as it is now and that should be ok so we can now exit from that go back into our program and try another sale so if we delete that one and we go back to item 2 didn't do it did it item 2 <coughs> and it's 1.7 there but we can see it's got lots of decimal places but if we put in 1.695 and edit it still too high no we need to do something else take those out Try it again. Yep, that's it. It's now gone to two dollars or two pounds or whatever you want to do. I think it was actually euros the original inquiry, and that now is showing the round figure that he wanted. So if we put more decimal places in when we are adding the items to the database, then we can get round figures. And what I did earlier to try to take this a step further is created a spreadsheet to do the calculation. So here I put uh, a tax rate and in that cell there we've got the 18% that he wanted and down here I've started with single figures these are increasing by one as they go down until we get to five and they increase by five just for the illustration steps five down there. So we've got unity there and in this cell we've taken that number and we've divided it by 100 plus that. Now I've used the absolute references $B, $1 
for that cell so that whenever you copy anything down it will always refer to that cell and not do it relatively. If you're used to spreadsheets you'll understand this. I've called this the tax portion so we've simply taken that we've multiplied this figure here by the tax rate so that's that times 18 and the net portion as I've called it which is the net selling price if you like uh, is that for for unity for a target price of one one um, currency unit and over here I've just added those two together C5 plus D5 that one plus that one um, with no decimal places just to see if it comes up to the same that's just a check so that should be the same as that which it is it's all fairly logical stuff really now we come to his target of 2 and the tax rate is 18% and this tells its own story then the tax portion is that the net portion of that is that and if you add them two together you get to that and if we were to change this to 10 decimal places it still shows as 2.000 which is what we wanted so if somebody wanted to see what a price was uh, a target price with a certain tax rate if they want to get the number to a number of decimal places then all they need to do is use something like this you can copy this but um, you need to be careful how you do it because it's dependent on a formula and if you just paste it into an empty spreadsheet it won't carry the formula with it so we need to do that a different way but with one up there all you need to do is overwrite that if you're looking for a price say you want to sell something at um, 57 then you put that in there and it tells you what the net portion there is what the tax portion is and what the total is and if we did that one to a number of decimal places I expect we'll get units here, we'll get um, just a row of zeros there, ten zeros so that's the way we can do that so if you knock up a spreadsheet like this with the right formula in it will do everything for you um, whatever price you're looking for you can find you can arrange it um, in a spreadsheet so you can import everything with round figure prices, no decimal places and you can experiment to see the minimum number of decimal places you need to get your round figures in the sales screen in the open source point of sale program. I'll close that for now, discard that. Um, I hope that was of interest to somebody or of help to them and I'll do some more topics later on. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.